Wednesday, um, England goalkeeper at the time. Um, he just edges out Nigel Martin. Sorry, Blazy. Um, he was he was a great keeper. Um, what was, what's the difference between him and Nigel? Him and Nigel, he, he, there wasn't a lot. Woodsy was great with his feet. Could uh, could um, love, like to play out in training. You know, loved to be, play up, up front, centre forward, hold it up. But just was like a really good pro. Not saying that Nigel wasn't either. But you have to make a decision, and obviously. He was the England keeper. Uh, we got to the, the FA Cup final, the League Cup final, and played in Europe that season. So I think he's my number one. So decisions, what it's all about, man. Yes. So go again. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dan Petrescu, Romanian fullback, um, wing back if you like. He came after the Euro '96. Amazing, amazing. What a player. He tried to teach me how to dive. <laughs> <laughs> he said to me that you need to get more fouls around the 18 yard box and I'm going to show you how to do it kick the back of your ankle when you're running and he used to do it in training and what did you say when he said that to this is England dad you don't want to dive in England don't do that um, but he was what a talent but, but I mean just running off the back running down the side coming inside um, good passer good footballer um, uh, just loved him loved playing with him excellent player um, and went on to play for Chelsea didn't he yeah, he left, right. he left and went to Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, he's fantastic. Um, I think he coaches in Qatar now. I, well, I thought he was in Russia. Oh. Um, close, isn't it, Merce? Yeah, close, Merce. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's moved. It's another 19 bus away, isn't he? <laughs> um, Super Des. Super Des. Des Walker, um, former Forest player. Played with him at Sheffield Wednesday. Came back from Italy. Um, just a great lad. Um, really good good captain when he captained the team um, a pro on the day he, he, he just he was, he was just so focused and um, as the saying said never beat Des Walker he just no. rarely rarely got beat how did you find when you played for Palace when you played against Des did you find hard, difficult hard yeah. hard really hard yeah. he said he loved Wright used to be up against him mainly because mm. he used to pick Wright up and like Chetlow or whoever pick, pick up me in them days um, but when, when you play against him it's just that he anticipated everything you couldn't out, you couldn't out running. So you just try and sort of like get the nudge in the back and get over the top and head one in at far post. Um, yeah. So Andy Thorne played for Wimbledon in the FA Cup final. Came to Palace from um, from Newcastle. No pace. I was, gonna, I was just going to say, no, just so small. If he could, if he could run, would he have played for England? Because he, he, he was one of the most thinking centre-halves I played against yeah. on the offside and all that. Um, yeah, he was, he was an organiser. Him and Steve Bruce probably can consider themselves like unlucky not to play for international. Mm -hmm. Because Thorny was just the best organiser you'd have come across. And uh, playing against like Pace, he would t he'd say to the full-backs, push in. And they'd say to Eric Young or whatever, just push in a bit and just catch everyone offside. I mean, it was, the, mm -hmm. it was boring. I mean, but, but he used to do it <laughs> no, all brilliant. the time. Yeah. And um, great, great teammate, good lad, funny lad as well. Roland Nielsen, he he plays right back, but I have to put him in because he was so good. He's the best professional I've ever played with. Um, professional in terms of just preparing himself well, you can learn a lot of people like him. He was just um, he, he said, just because you stay out doesn't make you a good professional. It's what you do, you know. Okay. Do do ten crosses instead of half an hour. Just put the quality into it. Um, great teammate, very, very good, very intelligent player. Loved to get the ball for keeper, play short. We had a great combination with uh, the guy I'm going to put in front of him in a minute. Um, so, who, who was the scout at Chef Webb in them days? Because you, you just named two players from from nowhere, yeah. really, who well, went on to be unbelievable well, re recruit, players. Recruitment now, isn't it? It's all recruitment, but in them days, yeah. you know, you'd watch you in 96 and you'd, you'd watch Romania and sort of how great they were. And, mm. You know, Dan played well in that team, so... But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's been back in the day, I suppose. Yeah, it's, right, yeah, right. Scouts, chief yeah. scouts. No, like YouTube that. then, was it? Yeah. 
Um, so I'll, I'll put in this side, Johnny Barnes. Um, I mean, somebody I've looked up to really, and I played against him at Leicester the very first time he was at Watford. And, you know, when you see someone close, up close, I thought, oh my God, so good. So good, so skillful, great touch, very, very calm in possession. And he came to charm in my, in my, right at the end of the career, you know, the old... John was going to as well, was it? Yeah, yeah, Barnsley, but just in training, just, to, you know, you set the standard with his touch and his passing and his vision. And he went on, you know, when he went to Liverpool, he was amazing, uh, amazing there because of playing on the wing. But later in his career, he kind of wanted to play more central. Did his game change? Yeah, he could adapt to like Giggsy, wasn't it? Because he was starting from the wing. And he understood the game, could play, could do everything really, could tackle. But, you know, really skillful player. Um, Chrissy Waddle, as I mentioned before, probably the best player I've played with. Um, when you go to tra when you play with someone day in, day out, training, and you use the vision, um, and he, he just had a thing where he said, I want you to come onto the edge of the 18 yard box here. I'm going to run down the line, and when I look up, I want to see you in front of the defender. I'm playing it into you, and I'm following it. Hold it. As I get close, just tell it to me. And he just used to tell me all the things he used to do with Papan when he was at Marseille. And he used to pick me up at night, go and watch the reserves, go and be football mad. Yeah. Go and watch Sunday games, you know, in Sheffield. Come on, let's go across the park, watch the Sunday game. Um, but skill, the goal he scored in the, in the, um, the FA Cup semi-final against Sheffield United was legendary, you know, 30 yards out. Um, Completely natural, or somebody who works at his game? God, like you really, isn't it? Really natural. <laughs> <laughs> he just could do anything, could do anything, you know, could, could, could chip, could curl, could drive it, could pass long range. Mm. He said he learnt a lot off Glenn Hoddle when he went to, um, to Spurs, mm. so you learn off people around you. Top, um, top yeah, I'm going to go for John Sheridan. He was at um, Sheffield Wednesday with me, and um, he was at Leeds when I first came across him. And uh, I'd love to always have a bit of banter with him on the pitch, you know, you, you know, Northern lad, give it your back and everything. Um, it was only when I went to Sheffield that I realised, you know, he'd had a bad knee as well. What a, what a talent. Played Republic of Ireland. Great pass of the ball. Just understood the game. Got the ball off the defence and passed it. And it was one of his first words to me when I, when I made my debut for Sheffield Wednesday. Was, Not Palace now. We pass it here. <laughs> Get hold of it. It came to me. I think it was a bit of trouble. I hooked it over the over my head, and it just and everyone goes, "Don't worry, he's like that with everybody." So, uh, what, uh, who would you say he's like now in the modern game, midfield player? I know without probably being too much. I think someone like Luka Modric. His, his passing was amazing. He, he, he was he was you know he could hit it long. He could play little people. Ball, balls in down the side, scored a free kick in the uh, League Cup final uh, for Sheffield Wednesday the year before I got there. Um, it's just all round. He wasn't a great tackler, but on the ball, he just knew where the next pass was. Yeah. As it came to him, See. he knew it was open, feed it off to somebody. Um, great player for me. And then I'm going to go with Andy Gray. Um, the Andy Gray played for Palace, for, for, for yeah. um, QPR, for, for Spurs and Villa. He, he was just... When I first went to Palace, he was playing up front, and Steve Cobble dropped him from a forward to midfield because he said, I think he's got the range of passing, he's got the energy, he's got the legs, he can do anything. And um, great shot on him. Um, was a funny teammate as well, but on his, he made his debut for England, and I think, were you playing the game Poland, I think? Nah, I think well, when, back, to him, say, kick it out. Say, when the ball gets rolled back, I want you to kick it out of play. He said, why? He said, because I'm telling you what to do. They'll have 10 on the pitch, we'll have 11, he said. I'll be a quiz question. I'll be a quiz question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. He said, do it or you're not playing. All right, then. <laughs> um, and he was a... Uh, he could do anything. He was physically... A, I mean, he was a beast. He was really strong. Underrated, then. Yeah. We played for England. I mean, we had, like, four or five players from the Palace team. You know, John Solarco, um, Andy Gray, um, Wrighty, Nigel Martin, you know, Jeff Thomas. All went to play for yeah. England. You know, five players. So um, he sits in there with, uh, with John Shaden, and then I'm going to go for. Did you go for Hursty? I think it's an eye, actually. You'll go mad. He's a good player, wasn't he, Hursty? I could not believe how good he was. I'd, we'd, I'd always kind of watched what he did at, at Barnsley and then go to Sheffield, and I'd seen him scoring goals all the time, and always tried to sort of like match him with the goals like you do with pl players do. And when I got to Sheffield, he had a broken ankle, um, and when he got himself fit, incredible. It really. 
I mean, he, was, he made his debut the same time as Shearer, and I think slightly lucky with injuries, but what a talent. And mate, there's nothing he couldn't do. He liked to battle. Um, he liked to shoot. He could dribble. He could pass. He was brave. He had everything. Um, oh, some of the, some of the goals he scored. He's one of the only players I've seen who would give Tony a, a difficult yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, who, who didn't mind playing against Tony. Yeah. People didn't like playing against Tony, but he, yeah. he'd come to Highbury and he'd... Uh, I, mean, he, I mean, Baldy, I think, broke his ankle just before I got there because Tre Trevor said to me, I need you because David's got injured, but when he's fit, he's a player. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he, he knows, you know, probably didn't go on to do what he should have done. And, um, but still, you know, phenomenal goal scorer from anything, free kicks, outside the box, in the box, brave with his head, talent really. And then... One minute left. <laughs> yeah, that's the one and only Ian Right, right, right. Um, as I said before, there's nothing I can say about what I've already said. But dedication, um, application, willingness, desire, um, a winner, someone you want in your team. He, 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 you know, battle for you, fight for you. Um, funny, but just talented. Made the most of himself. Got the maximum out of himself. Could not have been any better. And I think that's what everyone looks for, strives for in your career. Can you be the best that you can be? And that's all you can be. So that's that's my 11. OK, brilliant. We've got 30 seconds. Who's not made it? Oh, Solarco. Sorry, no. John. <laughs> um, he was great, John. He, he, had a, he had a, obviously did his crew shits at one stage and come back strong after that. Uh, Richard Shaw, who was, I think Solarco and Shaw were 19, played in the FA Cup final, the start of their career. Um, Oh God, there's, there's loads that we could have made it there. Um, you know, Viv, Viv Anderson, um, Nigel Pearson, Danny Wilson. I would, there's, as always, there's loads. I have made it. That's your bench. That's your bench. <laughs> <laughs> Huge thanks to our guest Mark Wright, the magic man as always, to our wonderful studio audience. For you lot home for watching, have a great weekend and we will see you next week.